talking about doing a ghost show. A real ghost show. Not a satirical ghost show. A real ghost show where I spell my name R-I-K. Is that something that people would be interested in? Let me know. Write down Y or N and pass me the note later. What, what Wi-Fi am I connected to? What is this? Ghost Wi-Fi. What the f***? So something weird just happened though. It might be a sign. I was trying to load something about ghosts, about a haunted building, and then my phone connected to my camera's Wi-Fi, which it's never done before. Something weird's going on. We have the old jail and Jim Thorpe here left a dirty handprint before his hanging as a declaration of innocence mysteriously is visible after the wall has been washed, painted, and plastered handprint persists that's a place of uh, interest a POI if you will what do you think <laughs> why would I'm eating <laughs> random deep fried Oreo stand that's normal so you're interested I'm interested at being at nerve center you don't want to investigate that. no I'll cry Say what? Something's attached to you. You said what? You try it. You've got more going on than me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, too, I'm too. Hello. <laughs> you said it like uh, like that video where they dump water on that girl's face. Hello. Did someone just talk to me? Who are you? What do you want? They help me? What? I'm done. <laughs> what did it say? I don't know. Something scary. Okay, so the spirit box does not produce sound anymore. I don't know what happened. It just literally stopped working. It doesn't work at all. It's really hot. Regretting my decision to wear long pants. Long pants. <laughs> you don't even have anything else. Yeah, I don't wear shorts, so that doesn't matter. I've never seen your legs. <laughs> Might have been an illusion because he did straight up just he disappeared. He literally turned one corner and he's gone. All right, we're here in legendary Jim Thorpe. Mock Chunk. Mock Chunk. We're about to go to the the Jim Thorpe Jail, where the handprint of a man remains years after he proclaimed his innocence. That's that's it. Popping into some spooky little shops. Just looks like some really bad weed. And that's Jim Thorpe in a nutshell. This is also a test run for our ghost show. Can we handle a place that's known to be haunted? Can we handle spooky things? Can we handle the unknown, the unseen? Can we do it? Handle? Handle. This is our journey. I have previous 
this thing was, the giant crickets. We survived the jail. We successfully made it out of a place that some people never leave. I think we're ready. I think this is our call to action here. Thanks, Jim Thorpe. Mock Chunk. chunk. Now we're gonna go find some shops and maybe have a snack, maybe some cream. I'm pretty sure we need it. We need it. Our journey in Jim Thorpe has come to an end. We've conquered the shops, we've conquered the people, we've conquered the heat, and most importantly, we've conquered the spirits. This is the beginning of our journey. I wish that I was announcing that we had a travel channel TV show right now.